refers to weapons like the Death Star or Star Killer base that held immense power. Well, there are 25 major super weapons in the Star Wars universe, and in today's video we're covering them all. We'll start with the canon only weapons first, and then I'll get into Legends. This list is specifically for Death Star-like weapons. Some ships, like the Malevolence in the Clone Wars, or even Mega Lasers like the Silencer, are technically classified as super weapons in Legends, but I'm just going to be covering the major, planet-devastating, galaxy-threatening weapons. The earliest known canon super weapon is the Sith Temple on Malachor. It was powered by a massive kyber crystal. Thousands of years before the Battle of Yavin, the Jedi caught wind of its existence and attacked it. The temple's weapon was fired and petrified all surrounding life in what became known as the Scourge of Malachor. Next up is, of course, the Galactic Empire's Death Star. A battle station the size of a moon, its primary weapon was a super laser also powered by a giant kyber crystal. It had the ability to destroy an entire planet in a single blast. It was destroyed by the Rebel Alliance during the Battle of Yavin. Its successor was the Death Star II. It was larger than the original Death Star, but for all intents and purposes, it was the same basic idea. It was also destroyed by the Rebel Alliance at the Battle of Endor. The final canon superweapon is Starkiller Base. Originally an ice planet in the Unknown Regions, the First Order transformed it into a mobile weapon with enough power to destroy entire star systems. It used the energy from nearby stars to charge its primary weapon and harnessed a dark energy called Quintessence to fire a light speed beam across the galaxy which could then split apart and destroy an entire system. Starkiller Base was in turn destroyed by the Resistance. Moving on to Legends, the earliest known superweapon was called Centerpoint Station. 100,000 years before the Battle of Yavin, it was built by the Killix under the instruction of the Force Wheels. It had the ability to project a tractor beam through hyperspace strong enough to grip planets or even stars. It could then move its target or destroy it by using the tractor technology to collapse its core. It wasn't destroyed until 40 years after the Battle of Yavin. The Starforge was built by the Rakatan Infinite Empire 30,000 years before the Battle of Yavin. Similar to Starkiller Base, it used the power of a nearby star to power the manufacturing of endless ships, droids, or other war machines. It was destroyed about 26,000 years later by Revan, Bastilashan, and a Republic fleet at the end of the Jedi Civil War. The Cosmic Turbine was a planet-sized structure that was possibly created by the Celestials. Not much is known about it other than a group of Dark Jedi took control of it, but only succeeded in destroying themselves and the Voltar system about 4,000 years before the Battle of Yavin. The Planet Changa were HUD superweapons that were developed sometime prior to 15,000 BBY. They were able to weaponize space rocks by accelerating them to speeds that could crack open a planet's core. They were likely destroyed during the HUD cataclysms. The Infinity Gate was a network of structures that could provide near instant travel across the galaxy. The gates could also be used to fire infinity waves that were able to suck entire worlds into infinity, presumably killing all life there. The Dark Reaper was created 5,000 years before the Battle of Yavin and could kill anything within its range by draining force energies. It would then convert that energy into highly destructive turbo laser beams. Hammer Station was a prototype battle station built by the Old Republic. It used a gravity cannon that could launch asteroids at any given target at near light speeds. The mass shadow generator was used by Revan to end the Mandalorian Wars at Malachor 5. It used the gravity of a planet to crush all life in and around the planet, but also devastated the target planet in the process. The Desolator was a Sith ship-mounted planet-killing weapon that was successfully tested on the planet Euphrates, but was destroyed before it could be used again. The Shocken device was designed to be the most destructive superweapon in history. 
It was intended to destroy the planet Shokin and hurl its fragments at light speed throughout the galaxy, which would in turn destroy more planets and send their fragments out, causing a chain reaction that could potentially destroy all life in the universe. It was never fired, and it's unclear whether or not it would have actually worked. The Trigon-1 was a weaponized satellite built by the Galactic Empire that theoretically had the power to destroy an entire planet, but it was destroyed before it could be used. The Infant of Shaw was a relic that could gather force energy and then release it all in one burst that was strong enough to rip a planet apart. Jedi Master Yarol Poof was able to successfully disarm it at the cost of his own life. The Death Star prototype was the predecessor to both Death Stars and Legends. It was built simply as the frame and was only powerful enough to destroy a planet's core, which still rendered it completely uninhabitable. The Orbital Night Cloak was a network of satellites that could cover an entire planet in darkness. Without access to its sun, the planet and its life forms would eventually freeze to death. The Tarkin was similar to the Death Star in that it came equipped with a large super laser that could destroy an entire planet. However, it was the size of a warship rather than a battle station. Along those same lines, the Conqueror was an Imperial Star Destroyer armed with the same super laser. The Sun Crusher was one of the most powerful super weapons ever created. It was small in size, but nearly indestructible. It had the power to destroy entire star systems by firing into a system's star, causing a supernova. It was destroyed by sending it into the Maw Cluster of black holes. The Galaxy Gun was yet another planet destroyer built by the Galactic Empire. It fired hyperdrive-capable projectiles with particle disintegrator warheads. The Empire's World Devastators used tractor beam technology to physically rip a planet apart. They would then collect the planet's natural resources and use them for military parts. The Darksaber was built by Durga the Hutt 12 years after the Battle of Yavin. Its design was based on original plans for the Death Star, and construction was overseen by Bevel Limelisk, the Death Star's chief architect. It was simply created to be a super laser in a steel case. Yogan's core was a Yuzon Vong biotechnological battle tactic that used a creature called a Dovin Basil to manipulate the gravity of a planet. The creature would pull a planet's moon into the planet itself, wiping out most of the life there, if not destroying the planet entirely. And that's all the major super weapons of Star Wars. Again, there are many other weapons that are technically labeled super, but they don't have nearly the amount of destructive power as the ones mentioned in this video. I'm thinking sometime down the line I'll do a list of the minor super weapons and their abilities. If you liked this video, you might like the video I did on every TIE Fighter variant or every AT series walker. You can see those videos here. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel to see new Star Wars videos every Monday through Friday. As always, thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.